everyone, my name is Christine from These Succulent Biddies and here we talk all about succulent care tips and how to grow them. Hi Tom Buddies! That's my daughter, say hi to her in the comments because she loves that. Anyway, today we are going to talk about these two succulents right here. The difference between Sedum Decephylum Major and Sedum Decephylum Minor. I'm also going to show you how to separate these into separate pots and repot these delicate succulents, so stay tuned. All right, so first off, let's talk about the difference between these two succulents. Let's first talk about this one right here. This is called a sedum decephylum minor. I will have the name there on the screen for you. And this one has grown really quickly for me, actually, and it is nicely stressed from being under my lights. It's got some purples, pinks, greens, a little bit of yellows and whites in there. And uh, it's actually a very easy succulent to grow as long, you know, if you forget to water a lot, this succulent is perfect for you because it totally loves being dry and, you know, when you water, it likes to be completely soaked. Anyways, I will talk more about care tips later, but you can see that the leaves are very small and delicate. The stems are also very thin and when they are watered, those when they're full of water, those leaves easily fall off. So this is not exactly a succulent that you want to touch. You want to be touching all the time. Um, if you have them in your garden or in your house somewhere, you want to put them where nobody will really touch them. But anyways, this right here is called a Sedum decephylum minor. This succulent right here is called a Sedum decephylum major. It actually gets a lot bigger than the decephylum minor. These are small shoots right now. You can see some of them are a little bit elongated because when I got these, I was still playing around with how far the lights should be from my succulents. So now you can see that they're growing nice and compact at the ends. They are close enough to the lights. This is the reason why I haven't really given a review about lights yet because I want to make sure whatever information I give you is based on my own experience and with lights you really got to play with the distance depending on what succulent you have. So I'm just trying to give you a view of the whole thing. Right here you see how big they can get. Those that's this is this was how big the plant was when I got it and then it just started shooting off all these new shoots and now this is how it's grown and it has spread throughout the pot. When I got these guys, I probably had about this much. That's it right there. And uh, in, in just a few months, it has grown into this. So today we're gonna go ahead and separate these probably into three because I wanna make new pots of it and then I want it to spread more, so I'm going to put it in a wider container. Again, this is a Sedum Decephylum Major. So I've got my soil ready here, the two pots that I'm going to be putting some of these in. As these succulents are a little bit more delicate than our Echeverias and Aeoniums and other Sedums, um, when I bought this, I didn't bother changing the soil. I just went ahead and quarantined the plants for two weeks and I wanted to make sure that there was no pest in there, nothing that came out and it was okay. So then eventually I went ahead and put her with the rest of my plants. So what you wanna do here is like I said, they're very delicate. So just wanna catch it with your hand like this and then this is a plastic pot. It, it'll easily come out. So you see why I didn't change the soil here? I knew that it was in proper soil mix um, you can see that this is very gritty soil the way that I watered this was pretty much the soak and dry method and um, I actually watered it from the bottom where I just put it in um, a thing of water like this put the pot in there and let the soil completely soak and then when it was completely soaked then I would just take it out and let it sit for you know another two to three weeks before watering again so now let's separate them. I want to separate this into three. I'm gonna try my best not to bother that root system too much so that the recovery period is not too long and I don't stress the plant too much. So I just took about that much right there. The soil is completely dry so it was easy for me to break it apart. And here is the bunch that I took right here. I'm now 
going to place it in this pot and I'm gonna fill in the soil. So you can see I already had some soil in there. Now I have the roots in and I'm just holding it over the top of that soil and I am slowly filling the soil in there to get the roots in. You want to hold it at about a height to where um, the plant is not going to get buried into the soil and as you fill the soil in it should go around the roots. You want to give it a little bit of a tap. Uh, make sure you catch them. See, I already have some leaves falling because like I said, it's a very delicate plant. Hence why I don't really mess with the soil. I don't try to change the soil and repot. I just make sure that the soil is bug free. And if you do happen to see bugs, you can go ahead and treat it with uh, whatever forms of pesticide you may want to treat it with. Um, it is up to you if you want to change the soil, but because it is such a delicate plant, whenever I get succulents like this, um, I don't change the soil. So the best thing to do is to get it from um, either a very reputable seller or a collector like myself, because I never sell plants in improper soil mix and uh, whenever I sell plants I make sure that they are completely acclimated to uh, well where I'm at at least so the recovery period for you wouldn't be too long and you wouldn't have any problems even if you don't change the pot or the soil. Okay, I'm almost done here pretty much filling up the pot and I'm completely making a mess soil all over the place but that's okay that's that's repotting right okay so they're still kind of falling over to the side oh my god I'm losing so much leaves but that is to be expected with this succulent don't worry about it it will recover and it's a fast fast grower um, I actually really like taking care of su small succulents like this. For some reason, I'm really good with them. Just because they, they don't require a lot of care at all. I like it small succulents like this, guys. As much as you can, try not to take off the old soil. So, make sure that you have a plant that is pest-free and was well taken care of when purchasing succulents like the Sedecedum decephylum minor. So there you go, I'm done repotting this one right here and it actually looks pretty good. Let me just go ahead and repot the rest of them. Now on to repotting and separating our Sedum decephylum major. I went ahead and loosened the sides here with a chopstick. All you do is stick a chopstick in there like this and then just keep going around to loosen up the sides. Um, they kind of it's kind of really in there when in their terracotta pots, not like when it's in plastic. So you want to have a tray like this so you don't make a big mess and then you're just going to flip it. A bunch of soil is going to come out. But there you go, the soil came out pretty easily and there's still some in there, meaning the roots have only spread this far. Like I said, um, the same thing as with the Jacephylum minor, you want to try your best not to disturb those roots too much because it is a more delicate plant than your usual succulent. And I am just going to go ahead and separate these probably into three. Oh, big mess again. The soil is really dry, so I'm just trying to get a clump here. And whatever roots come with it, that is what comes with it. Um, okay, that's more than what I would want to separate, so... Oh well, okay. Here we go. Big clump came out, and look at those healthy roots. Um, okay, this seems to be be like this because it's on one stem okay there you go okay so i will pot this one because this is on a single root system right here place it right on top of the soil like this so like i said try to be level to where all the plant is pretty much uh, right on top of the pot because you don't want to bury any of those babies into the soil and then you simply fill it in.
Everyone is now potted up and separated. The Dasyphylum Majors, I was able to separate into four different pots. These were a lot easier to pot because they're not as delicate as the Miners. But the Sedum Dasyphylum Miners, I have a total of five pots from that one tiny full pot that we had. So in a few months, they are fast growers. Hopefully, um, these pots will be full and then I can separate again and make more pots of them. If you guys have any questions, please, please leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Again, this is Christine from The Succulent Buddies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Thank Bye you. Bye, buddies. Merry Christmas.